Vine Avenue local to be the only local that represents all of us here because that is the only democratic local, that is the only local that represents America. We don't want another local. We want 1235 to represent all of us, black, brown, Asian, white, that live in the city of Newark because that is the only local that has been hiring us in a democratic way. All of the rest of the locals are racist and need to be uh, uh, done away with immediately. They need to be abolished immediately. That's what we're, that's what we're, that's what we're asking for today. And, we, and, and like Joe said, we are going to the port today. Yes, sir. Get them out of here. The port authority took us to court. You will face them. They took us to court. They filed a motion on Friday to prevent us from marching. Yes, sir. What? But as you can see, we are here today. Yes, sir. They want to control how we come down there and voice our concerns. They want to be able to dictate how we get angry. They want to characterize our feelings. They want to pigeonhole our response into the way that they like it. But we oppose the slavery of all forms. We have a democratic right to redress our grievances. We have a right to assemble, a right to speak, freedom of the press. We have the right to voice our concerns. This was given to us by the democratically elected uh, officers in this country, by the Constitution of the United States, by the Bill of Rights, and no corporation, no quasi-public private entity, no billion dollar pseudo-government is going to stop us from raising our voices the way it needs to be raised. And I want you to know, Daggett, that when you talk about me, you're talking about 300,000 residents of this city. I also want you to know that when you attack African Americans in Newark, you also attacking Latinos in Newark. And if you attack Latinos in Newark, you also attacking the Portuguese in Newark. And when you attack the Portuguese in Newark, you attacking the East Indians that live in this city. You attacking the Eastern Europeans that live in this city. You attacking all of Newark because Newark doesn't look the way that you think it looks. Newark is a diverse community, and if you look at us, we are here, and we are all coming down side by side because all of us, in every language, oppose segregation. We oppose racism. We oppose all of these things that are happening. I had somebody tell me the other day in a meeting that we can't hire people, Mayor, because of the color of their skin. That's what he said. I said, oh, we don't want you to hire people just because of the color of their skin. We want you to stop people from being hired because of the color of their skin. You have a duty and a responsibility to rectify generations of discrimination. Decades of discrimination in this uh, city. We want you to stop it. We want you to be responsible for making sure that port is diverse. You have a responsibility to do so. And yeah, the majority of the city is black and brown. And that's not our fault. That's just the reality of history. That's just the reality of circumstance. That's the demographic of our day. Yes, this city is majority black and brown. It is in Newark and it is in Elizabeth. The problem is the port doesn't look that way. And if the majority of the people in this city and in Elizabeth are black and brown, the port should resemble that. And the unemployment rate in this city should not be as high as it is with the port down there. And the amount of money that's being made at the port, I think what Al Tariq did today, put a bunch of people on notice. Because now these young men around here, they know where the money at. <laughs> Money 
created in their neighbor's house. You know where the money at. And it's time for us to mobilize and go get it. We know where the revenue at. We know where the resources are. We know who has them. We know who's been keeping them from us. And we know what to do to go get it. We have plenty of practice. We're going to come down there and get what belongs to us. And I want you to take my words as I say them and take them seriously. And we're not afraid of no petty threats. We're not afraid of no emails. We're not afraid of no phone conversation. We're not afraid of you telling us what you're going to do to us. I was born and raised in Newark, New Jersey. I've been threatened before. 